Okay, so these are the writers that you have in the lab. Please check that you have everything present. You should have a container for your weighing of the mass. A beaker, a pad filler, a glass rod, a dropper, two conical flasks, a funnel, a measuring cylinder, your wash bottle, a volumetric flask, your pipette, your burette, and your white towel. Okay, so after you have checked your apparatus and ensured that they are clean by washing them, you may move on to the next step in your experiment, which is the weighing of your iron 2 ammonium sulfate solid. In this, use your spatula and your weighing bottle. Put your, place your weighing bottle inside the weighing balance and press the tear function. Wait for the zero figure to come out before taking out your bottle to weigh. So after you have teared your bottle, now use your weighing bottle to, con to collect your sample. Always have this bottle over the mouth of your container and place a good amount inside your bottle first. Okay, so when you're taking out the solid, be careful not to spill any of it over. If you accidentally do spill some, please make sure you clean it up immediately. Always keep it over the mouth of the container so that any spillage will fall into the container instead of falling out. Okay, we've got about 9.78 grams here. Close the door. Close the door of the weighing balance and wait for the weight to stabilize. It stabilizes when you see the word, the alphabet G. Record the weight to three decimal places. Okay, so now in order to con um, transfer your sulfuric acid into this measuring cylinder, please use a funnel. You need 50 cm cube of your sulfuric acid. So, should be rather straightforward. Okay. It need not be accurate in this case because you are simply using it to dissolve your iron ammonium sulfate salt. Okay. Now with that, what you do next is you transfer your solids into a beaker which should have already been cleaned. Transfer all of it, and now we we'll put your sulfuric acid into this container to wash it out. This is the first step. Okay, so okay. Next is you. Next step, you will have to use your deionized water to wash your weighing water. Okay, do not use too much water. Just sufficient to wash your green water. Okay. Stir with your glass rod. Might take a while to dissolve. It does not dissolve, add um, just a little bit more deionized water. Again, not too much. So most of it is dissolved by now. When you're ready, You take your volumetric flask, make sure it's clean. You may use the funnel from before. Now to transfer, place your glass rod in the funnel and you pour the solution onto the glass rod. Slowly. Please do this step slowly. Okay. Beaker. You put some water. Use your Diana's water to wash the glass rod and to wash the insides. Can you look at the insides? I might have some 
leftover salt, which I will use the water to dissolve. Try to get as much of your solution into the volumetric flask first before you add water to dissolve this bit here. It will dissolve better if the solution is already is not in there. Okay, so again stir, decant. Okay, if you can see I still have solids but they're lesser now. Add a bit more DNS water. What I do now is I'll wash the glass rod. I'll be washing the contents into this directly. Okay, if you, I can draw attention to the volumetric flask, even with all that washing, the level should not be anywhere near the 250 mark. That's how much of water you should be using minimal amount so that you can then make up the solution to the top okay remove your funnel and with your deionized water make up the solution to 250 as I get closer to the 250 mark I will slow down and use the dropper I'm slowing down, adding very very slowly, stopping before the mark. Okay, so with your dropper, carefully add the water in. It is very critical at this step that you add the water in very slowly because if you add too much water, you can't remove it. To do this step very very slowly. So you need another drop so that the bottom of the meniscus, the bottom meniscus is the one that should be underlined. Okay, with that you cover and you have to shake it. When you are shaking it, um, be careful to not shake it in such a way that it endangers your classmates. Hold on to the cover with your thumb, maybe with your right hand or the left hand, whichever hand that you're more comfortable with holding it, and hold the bottom with the other hand. When you shake, another good shake. A swirl will be helpful. Turn it back upside down again. And repeat this a, a couple of times, shaking it, reversing it, reversing it again, keeping your hand on the cover all the time. Eventually just set it down. Do not turn up, do not open the cap at this point, but rather let the solution settle. And at this point, go on to prepare your burette.